Meet Elenoid, the humanoid robot. It was built in Japan, modeled after a woman from Central Europe. At the Technical University of Darmstadt, this unique robotic creation is currently being programmed, and scientists are conducting research on the impact such hyper-realistic robots can have on people. The initial impressions upon meeting the robot are fascination and discomfort. Elenoid stands at a height of 170 centimeters and wears a size 36 dress. Her medium-length hair, reaching her shoulders, is partially real. The hyper-realistic female robot can move her face, arms, fingers, and hips. Elenoid can speak, laugh a little, and express some emotional expressions. This robot models are designed to study how people react to the environment of hyper-realistic robots and whether they are willing to interact with them. During the presentation, many people experienced both fascination and discomfort. Some took selfies with the female robot, some people avoided her, trying not to pay attention to the robot, and there were those who simply watched, afraid to approach. An interesting feature of the robot is its warm silicone hands. This is a special feature of this model, which allows the robot to be closer to humans. As the creators claim, a cold, mechanical handshake repels many people. Additionally, Elenoid can autonomously converse and engage in conversation. This humanoid robot from China has already started working in full swing. It operates at the factory of the Chinese company NIO, which is engaged in the production of electric vehicles. The Walker S robots, presented by UB Tech Robotics, assist in quality checking of door locks, seat belts, and headlights, as well as attaching logos to cars. Unfortunately, there are no exact details about the characteristics of the new robot, but its predecessor was 145 centimeters tall, weighed 77 kilograms, and was equipped with a lithium iron phosphate battery, providing only two hours of autonomous operation. Although NEO has not yet made an official statement regarding the pilot program for the use of humanoid robots, UB Tech Robotics enthusiastically assesses the potential use of robots on electric vehicle assembly lines to increase productivity. The company claims on its website that the future of humanity lies in the coexistence of humans and robots. It seems that robots are making significant strides even in the beauty industry. Robots from the company Loom, equipped with computer vision and artificial intelligence technologies, are already operating in beauty salons in California. The robot individually applies each eyelash to the prepared eye, doing so in 15 minutes. Although the robot's setup takes 50 minutes, overall, it is still one-third faster than a human would accomplish the task. Developers claim that this process is super fast, comfortable, and very consistent for clients. The boundaries between humans and machines are gradually fading. Scientists have created a human brain that can be connected to a computer. Researchers from Indiana University in Bloomington, USA, have successfully grown a living human brain that can be connected to a computer. This discovery could lead to the development of new technologies that will change our lives. The grown brain consists of neurons and cells that form a complex network. It was created from stem cells taken from a human embryo. Stem cells can differentiate into various types of cells, including neurons. To connect the brain to a computer, scientists used electrodes. The electrodes input data into the brain cells and read the results of its subsequent activity. Researchers conducted several experiments with this brain. They demonstrated that it can learn and perform complex tasks. For example, the brain was able to recognize voices and solve complex equations. The group of scientists predicts that within the next 10 years, humanity will see the emergence of the first biocomputers. Biocomputers will combine the advantages of the human brain and computer. They will have high processing speed and learning ability. This discovery has tremendous potential for the development of new technologies. Biocomputers can be used to create new types of artificial intelligence, robots, and medical devices. However, scientists still face many challenges. First and foremost, methods for growing larger and more complex brains need to be developed. Additionally, ways to connect biocomputers to the human body need to be devised. If scientists can overcome these difficulties, biocomputers will become a reality in the coming years. This discovery will change our world and make it more advanced. In the USA, the husband of a woman who died due to malfunctions of a robot during surgery has filed a lawsuit against the manufacturer, Da Vinci. The incident occurred a couple of years ago, when during a surgery on the intestines, the robot controlled by the surgeon accidentally burned the small intestine. Despite undergoing a second operation, the patient did not recover from the injury and died. At the time, everything was attributed to an unforeseen malfunction of the robot. However, before the surgery, patients are informed that such a procedure may lead to serious consequences and even death, so the manufacturer absolves himself of responsibility using disclaimer of liability. 
Nevertheless, the husband of the victim claimed that he and his wife did not receive all the information regarding the danger of the procedure. So far, the company has ignored the lawsuit and has not appeared in court. We are waiting to see what will happen next and what consequences this will have for the industry. One of the most well-known Russian android robots is Elisa Zelenogradova. She appeared in the company Neurobotics in 2012. This robot looks like a 25-year-old woman. Initially, the mechanical beauty learned to move her eyes and then gradually mastered facial expressions. The advent of 3D printers in the company significantly accelerated the process of creating and improving the robot. Elisa is a gynoid robot named after the suburb of Moscow where she was created. The Elisa robot has a wide range of sensors, including stereo microphones in her ears, cameras in her eyes, and a speaker inside her mouth. When fully realized on a mobile platform, infrared sensors are added as a safety bumper and a Microsoft Kinect sensor for navigation and additional interactive communication capabilities. Currently, Elisa's eyes, skull with a movable lower jaw, pneumatic arms, and some mounting elements are printed on a 3D printer. Of course, Elisa's capabilities are still far from those of the Toshiba Android or other Japanese models, but Elisa can already simulate human emotions. American scientists from Colossal Biosciences have made a breakthrough and announced that they will be able to recreate mammoths. Additionally, the scientists revealed when they will be able to recreate dinosaurs. But first, about mammoths. The closest living relatives of mammoths are currently Asian elephants, which could be genetically modified to bear a greater resemblance to mammoths. Colossal Biosciences scientists have successfully reprogrammed the skin cells of Asian elephants into an embryonic state. This success paves the way for creating elephants with features similar to extinct woolly mammoths. Scientists have created four lines of specialized stem cells that can differentiate into various types of animal cells. Representatives of the company also stated that, in the near future, in addition to mammoths, they plan to resurrect representatives of two more extinct species, the dodo bird and the Tasmanian tiger. The company representatives also addressed the main question, can dinosaurs be brought back to life? After all, all the mentioned creatures became extinct relatively recently, and the oldest DNA sample is only about 1 million years old, whereas dinosaurs went extinct 66 million years ago. However, red blood cells and other soft tissue elements have been preserved in dinosaurs, offering potential avenues for obtaining DNA in the future. Undoubtedly, DNA is easier to extract from the soft tissues of animals, such as blood vessels, nerves, and muscles. From dinosaurs, only fossils remain, and soft tissues have been decomposed a lot of time ago. Obtaining material from fossils is very challenging, as DNA molecules degrade over time. Studies show that it ultimately takes about 7 million years for their decay. The last dinosaur died at the end of the Cretaceous period, over 65 million years ago. This means that even with the use of new technologies available to scientists today, resurrecting a dinosaur from its DNA is impossible. Among the alternative methods being explored is reverse engineering, manipulating the genetics of birds to create something resembling a dinosaur, since birds are considered direct descendants of dinosaurs. Unfortunately, recreating dinosaurs in the near future is unlikely. Even if scientists manage to restore fragments of dinosaur DNA, creating a fully functional animal is not possible. Researchers would have to combine fragments of prehistoric creatures with some other animal to obtain a living organism. In other words, it would be a hybrid, not a dinosaur. However, with the development of technologies, the likelihood of resurrecting prehistoric monsters increases every day, as the imminent appearance of mammoths demonstrates. Share in the comments if you would like to see live dinosaurs. It seems that those who believe that robots will eventually take away jobs from ordinary people are correct. Previously, the discussion was focused on machines taking over specific production cycles and replacing humans in certain positions. However, now the talk is about the complete replacement of humans. Boston Dynamics showcased a video on their YouTube channel where the humanoid robot Atlas transfers automotive parts from factory packaging to a rack, from which they will be taken by an automated production line. The automotive manufacturing sector, where precision, reliability, and the ability to handle heavy components are required, seems to be an ideal place for humanoid robots. While specialized industrial robots are already widely used here, Complex and multifaceted tasks requiring a human touch have remained beyond their capabilities until now. Boston Dynamics, owned by Hyundai, now can contribute by offering its Atlas robot for work in auto manufacturing. Atlas is still an experimental project, demonstrating significant potential among humanoid robots, and its application in the commercial sector could be a crucial step in the development of robotics. The future is not far off when the decision of whether to hire a person or a machine will solely come down to financial considerations. It will be foolish to argue that buying and training a robot will be much more cost-effective than paying a human salary.
In China, a 3D bioprinter for mass production of tissues and organs has been released. Chinese company Reginovo Biotechnology Company Ltd. presented the country's first 3D bioprinter for mass production of human tissue samples. The device is called BioArchitect X. It was unveiled at an exhibition in Hangzhou. The 3D bioprinter uses an innovative microcomputerized tomography system. It is reported that the novelty is capable of printing a wide range of tissues and organs. It is expected that the BioArchitect X system will play an important role in the medical field in China, primarily in medicine testing and development programs. Company representatives expect that the 3D bioprinter will stimulate the production of new medicines. When presenting the BioArchitect X at the exhibition, experts from Reginovo printed a fragment of cartilage tissue. During the demonstration, experts selected a 3D model of cartilage and simply started 3D printing with the press of a button. The 3D printer immediately began working, dispensing hydrogel with human cells from the print head and depositing it according to the model. The cartilage fragment was ready in less than an hour. The hydrogels themselves are also developed by Reginovo specialists. They are bio-inks for liver cells, blood vessels, and other tissues. The company emphasizes that the cell survival rate in Reginovo materials is 90%, and they function for up to four months. It's been three years since the leading AI-powered robot debuted on Chinese television. The Android was developed by EX Robots, the first realistic robot manufacturer in China, based in Liaoning Province in northeast China. The female robot serves as the host of the entertainment show, creating the future with intelligence in China, introducing viewers to the country's technological innovations. Zhang Lai Lai, the humanoid, sporting both realistic silicone skin and intentionally exposed mechanical parts, has been a hit with audiences nationwide and quickly gained popularity on social media. According to Zhejiang Television, the robot woman Zhang Lai Lai is 18 years old, she loves to sing, read comics, and snack. Additionally, they added that the robot possesses special knowledge in big data analysis, information storage and processing, and especially charm. On television, the female robot host stands on stage and introduces the episode's theme, using fairly natural lip movements and hand gestures, speaking in a soothing voice. Recent studies have shown that AI research is entering a stage of exponential growth, and there is already evidence of AI acquiring human capabilities in several areas. This means that the hypothetical moment of so-called singularity in the development of neural networks is rapidly approaching. Moreover, humanity may create an artificial intelligence equal to itself in just about three years. Scientists see the potential transition from narrow AI to general AI in the creation of an infrastructure that will unite existing and new paradigms of artificial intelligence into one structure. If a system incorporating multiple narrow AIs representing various elements of human perception could function as a unified algorithm, it would essentially result in artificial intelligence equal to human intelligence. And if it were able to rewrite its own code, it could quickly transform into superintelligence. What do you think of this approach? And do you believe in the creation of general artificial intelligence in the near future? Meet Pixmo, the robot capable of unloading a thousand boxes per hour or one box every 3.5 seconds. The startup Anywhere Robotics took a Japanese FANUC manipulator with a suction cup equipped arm and mounted it on its own base optimized for a specific task. As a result, the robotic manipulator can efficiently unload or load boxes weighing up to 30 kilograms at an impressive speed, up to a thousand such boxes per hour, or a total of 30 tons of cargo. The robot proves to be highly cost effective. According to the company's calculations, it is three times cheaper for the customer compared to other offerings on the market and pays for itself in approximately two years. The original conveyor system reduces the load on the robot. Additionally, it shortens the distance Pixmo has to cover with a load in hand, thereby increasing its work rate. Consequently, the productivity reaches up to 1,000 boxes per hour, equivalent to one box every 3.5 seconds, a remarkably fast, even for a professional loader. An unmanned air cab has made its first intercity flight in China. Autoflight, a leading developer of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, has performed the world's first autonomous intercity flight by an electric air cab. The Prosperity EV Tall traveled 50 kilometers between the cities of Shenzhen and Zhuhai via the Pearl River Delta. The flight took only 20 minutes, while by land, the trip would have taken about three hours. The regional authorities intend to launch hundreds of air cab routes and thousands of vertiports. The Prosperity Air Cab is a small aircraft that can carry up to four passengers for a distance of 250 kilometers at a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. This EV Tall is equipped with 10 electric propeller motors used for vertical takeoff and landing. In horizontal flight mode, the Aerotaxi uses a tail electric propeller motor and wings. 
Autoflight intends to obtain a commercial flight permit for this aircraft by 2026. Autoflight was able to navigate through a complex and highly regulated airspace. A demonstration flight showed that the air cab can safely integrate into existing air traffic. The regional government plans to open thousands of Verdi ports and hundreds of eVTOL air routes across the Greater Bay Area in southern China, including the route between Shenzhen and Zhuhai. Up to 300,000 flights per year are expected here alone. Low-altitude application scenarios include passenger transportation, tourism, logistics, and emergency services. Walt Disney Imagineering has demonstrated two robots working together, the characters from the animated movie Zootropolis and Robo Kiosk. This is quite interesting as we rarely see such interactions outside of industrial settings where everything the robots do is strictly regulated. In other scenarios, robots are usually either on their own or paired with a human who can adjust to changing conditions. Disney engineers relied on the lightness and strength of the robots and taught them to adapt when there are inaccuracies in each other's movements. A character can lean on a motorized kiosk to create the illusion of pushing it around the stage. The kiosk then uses a winch to lift the character onto a platform where electromagnets help stabilize his legs. The result is a freely moving bipedal robot that moves naturally and doesn't require particularly complex controls or precision construction. It can jump around the kiosk, while the robot kiosk itself ensures that the robot gets to the right point on stage without incident. The system is designed in such a way that the movement of both robots is always coordinated. The Chinese have created a micro-robot that treats dreaded diseases such as aneurysms and brain tumors. The magnetic micro-robot can reduce the risk of bleeding from a brain aneurysm and starve a brain tumor. The soft bot does this by cutting off blood flow to the aneurysm or tumor. As a result, the tumor stops growing and shrinks. The robot can block branches of blood vessels that conventional catheters could not reach. The spiral shape provides more control and precision than other methods used to treat these conditions. Tests on vessel models and in rabbits have shown excellent results. Brain aneurysms and brain tumors cause more than 750,000 deaths each year. One of the main treatments is embolization, which is used to block blood flow. However, this method is limited due to the difficulty of steering a catheter through complex networks of neurovessels. In addition, surgeons are exposed to prolonged radiation exposure as the procedure is performed under x-rays. The new robots, however, could be a real revolution in the treatment of these diseases. When tested on a model blood vessel system, the team found that the two robots in the healthy branch achieved a particle blockage rate of 88%. The robots were also tested on the hind legs of rabbits. According to the researchers, three weeks after embolization, the robots were still blocking blood flow, and tests on the rabbit's organs showed no inflammation or pathology. This is the humanoid robot Toro, originating from Germany. It was created at the German Center for Robotics and Mechatronics DLR, Assembly of this robot began as far back as 2009. At that time, developers only created the legs of the DLR biped, but now the roboticists have decided to present its upgraded version, which received a new torso and the name Torque Controlled Humanoid Robot, or Toro. Now that the robot's body is ready, we can start testing its movements for smoothness, speed, and accuracy, says the lead project developer, Christian Ott. Take for example a person opening a heavy door. Several dynamic precise actions are involved in this process simultaneously. Our robot should also be able to handle this task. The next step for us is climbing stairs. Here we need to teach Toro how to lift itself up and simultaneously balance like a human. Four-legged robots are increasingly being used in various scenarios, from inspections to rescue operations. To enhance the functionality of such a robot, it often requires an assisting limb, a manipulator attached to the back of the bot. However, this complicates the design and control, increases the weight, and makes the machine more expensive. Therefore, engineers at the Robotic Systems Lab decided to explore what operations a robot dog could perform with its legs. It turns out there are quite a few. The developers employed reinforcement learning policies and demonstrated the capabilities of the robot. For example, it is quite adept at opening doors and carrying bags. Chinese company Xpeng demonstrated the flying car X3 in action once again. The vehicle can now both drive and fly. The car is equipped with standard four wheels for driving, while for flying, rods with screws are attached to the roof of the car. There are a total of eight screws, arranged in pairs on four attached rods. This design allows the car to vertically take off and land. The X3 weighs nearly 2,000 kilograms. Considering what is shown in the video, it can be understood that the rods will not fold. During one of the vehicle tests, the car was able to exit the garage, lift off the ground, fly a short distance, and then successfully land. The goal of the test is to check the stability of the car if one of the motors fails. 
According to Xpeng, controlling the car during flight is quite simple. The driver only needs the steering wheel and gearbox. The range will be the same as that of regular electric cars. This is the humanoid robot David with variable stiffness actuators in the joints, capable of operating a drill like a professional. David can pick up a drill, drill through a concrete block, and handle impacts. The robot is equipped with end effector tracking using its head and uses both hands to perform complex tasks. The weight of the robot is 55 kilograms. Recently, David demonstrated advanced manipulation skills with the seven degree of freedom arm and fully articulated five finger hand using a pipette. To localize the object, the company combined multi-object tracking with proprioceptive measurements. Together with path planning, this allows for controlled in-hand manipulation. David is designed to approximate its human archetype in terms of size, weight, and performance. The main focus during development is on reliability, high dynamics, and maneuverability. Recently, OpenAI introduced the Sora neural network capable of generating realistic video clips up to one minute long with full HD resolution based on text descriptions. However, a survey made by the Harris X company among adult Americans showed that the majority of respondents could not distinguish AI-generated videos from real ones. As part of the survey, participants were shown eight video clips, five of which were generated by the Sora neural network, while three were filmed with a real-world camera. In five cases, the majority of respondents made mistakes in determining whether the video was created by a human or artificial intelligence. This study emphasizes that content generated by neural networks is becoming increasingly realistic, making it very difficult to distinguish from reality. This raises concerns in society, especially in the entertainment industry, where such technologies can negatively impact the film industry. In this regard, there is growing talk in various countries about the need for legislative regulation of this segment. It is proposed to require users of neural networks to label generated content to avoid misinformation and misconceptions. There is also a question about the possible use of such algorithms to create fake videos involving politicians and celebrities, which could have unpredictable consequences. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang said that in the near future, AI will take away programmers' jobs, and it is more promising to study to be an agriculturalist. Programming will soon cease to be an important skill. According to Huang, artificial intelligence will take over programming tasks, so it is more promising for young people to study biology or agriculture. And coding, if necessary, will be possible in natural language with the help of artificial intelligence. Soon it will be necessary only to clearly formulate the technical task in natural language for software development, and artificial intelligence will do the rest for the programmer. However, it is not that bad at the moment. In fact, the need for software developers is only growing. For example, after ChatGPT was released on the market, the number of vacancies in the field of programming increased by 6%. Amira, created by a British company, operates in over 7,000 languages and is currently programmed in English for the event. AI and humanoid robots like Amira aim to collaborate with humans to shape a better world, playing a crucial role in the summit's theme of shaping future governments. Amira, with its strategic partnership, demonstrates advancements in AI, serving purposes such as entertainment and education. Connected to supercloud computers, Amira's quick responses emulate human-like interaction, reflecting the future possibilities of AI. Another development from the German Center of Robotics and Mechatronics is the humanoid robot Roland Justin. As the name suggests, the robot moves on surfaces using wheels. Development of this type began in 2008, and over time, the team of engineers has significantly improved it. Roland Justin is used to explore robotics applications in domestic and industrial settings, as well as in space. It can catch balls, brew coffee, and even learn to repair satellites. The robot is also capable of manipulating both solid and soft objects. Equipped with compatible weaponry and collision detection, it can be operated autonomously or remotely. Motorola has shown its phone of the future, and in this future, the smartphone is worn on the wrist. It can be used as a regular smartphone with a touchscreen, but the device is offered to be worn on the hand as if it were a watch or a bracelet. The frame of the device bends and holds the shape chosen by the user. When the device is fully straightened, the diagonal of the pilot display with Full HD Plus resolution is 6.9 inches. In wristband mode, the screen becomes smaller than 4.6 inches, but it still responds to touches, displays notifications, and shows content. Meanwhile, the well-known tech torturer Zach Nelson, who gained fame for bending, burning, and generally abusing devices, decided to raise the stakes and test the durability of the Tesla Cybertruck. He prepared a real test for Elon Musk's electric pickup in the form of a flamethrower and various firearms. 
Firstly, the blogger applied the flamethrower from The Boring Company, owned by Elon Musk, to the electric pickup. This not harmed the stainless steel body of the vehicle. However, Zack didn't initiate this experiment for that purpose at all. After the fiery warm-up, the blogger armed himself with a Glock 19 9mm pistol. The bullets left an impressive mark on the metal but did not penetrate it, although consistently hitting the same spot could lead to the formation of a crack. The 22 caliber also did not penetrate the covering. However, bullets of the 17 caliber, which were twice faster, did penetrate the metal but got stuck inside the door. Next, Zack armed himself with a semi-automatic AR-15 rifle, which managed to penetrate the door completely. Lastly, he used a sniper rifle with 50 caliber rounds. As expected, it pierced the doors of the electric car and even punctured some of the wires inside, but this had no effect on the car's functions. Israeli company Blink Energy has introduced Blinkit, wireless charging for electronic lenses and eye implants. This device attaches directly to the upper eyelid, a small microchip connected by a thin wire to a battery, which elegantly doubles as an accessory placed on the user's temple. With Blinkit, you can wear smart lenses indefinitely and never remove eye implants because they will automatically charge from your eyelid. It seems that eyes are not only the mirror of the soul, but also a source of energy now. Once your eye implants are charged, Blinkit can be easily removed. The technical director of Blink Energy, like a true hero, tested the device on himself and assured that there are no unpleasant sensations, although apparently the external device looks as if its designers were a little carried away with futuristic fantasies. Unfortunately, Blinkit cannot be purchased yet, but the company promises to refine its creation and launch it for sale in the coming years. If you need a humanoid robot for watering flowers, cleaning, and threading a needle, you'll have to wait until the Phoenix robot from Sanctuary AI becomes available for purchase. The advanced humanoid bot recently performed admirably, demonstrating nearly human-like dexterity and speed in manipulations. Unlike its counterparts, Phoenix doesn't walk yet, but it has some of the most agile and functional hands in the industry. The robot's training process is as follows. Engineers demonstrate an action to it using a teleoperation suit, and then the bot attempts to replicate everything in simulation, learning there until it achieves a certain result. After that, training continues in reality. As a result, the robot learns to perform very complex and precise manipulations completely autonomously. The only downside to this approach is time. It will take a lot of time to train the robot in all possible actions. Speaking of its construction, Phoenix's hands are powered by hydraulic actuators, similar to those of the Atlas robot, whereas its counterparts Optimus and Figure 01 use electric actuators. Hydraulics are expensive and not very reliable, as they can leak. But according to developers, only hydraulics provide the required accuracy, strength, and speed today. A human hand can perform up to 33 different grips, and with our learning algorithms we are trying to see if the robot can achieve the same 33 grips, say the engineers at Sanctuary AI. Hello Robot has released the third version of its stretch mobile robot arm. The robot has received a rotating 3D camera on top of the mast, designed for perception functions and observation of the environment. The gripper itself has also been updated, which has always been very simple but functional. The Dexris 3 now promises a more secure grip, as well as visual control of the gripper's fingers, made possible by an integrated 3D camera, while the grip can be quickly changed to a specialized end effector. The robot is designed for research. The company hopes to build a large community of developers, who will all work together to make the robot a universal household helper. In the future, Hello Robot plans to open an online meetup app shop where the development community can share skills that users can download and install on the robot. Each user can then customize it with the desired capabilities for their needs. Of the obvious advantages of Stretch can be called its price. After all, $4,000 is much lower than the named by Elon Musk, and probably unattainable in reality $20,000 for a humanoid robot from Tesla. The Simroid robot is designed for training dentists and was developed by engineers from the Japanese Dental University Hospital and Morita Manufacturing, a digital equipment manufacturer. The first prototype of the robot was introduced back in 2007, and the current version has made significant progress. While most training dental dolls are expressionless metallic phantoms, Simroid resembles a living creature more closely. The machine is covered with silicone skin similar to real skin, and the model's oral cavity is equipped with a large number of sensors. If a novice dentist makes a wrong movement that causes pain or discomfort to the patient, the robot jerks or tries to alert the doctor with its voice. In addition to the robot itself, the system includes a pair of cameras through which the instructor monitors the diagnosis and progress of the operation. According to the authors, the system is already 99% complete, and work on the project is ongoing, but a commercial version may soon become available. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University 
have developed a system for teleoperating humanoid robots using a real-time camera. The algorithm recognizes the operator's movements using reinforcement learning, scalable retargeting, and extensive data sets of human motions. As a result, people can remotely control robots using a regular RGB camera without additional suits or sensors. It creates a kind of comprehensive motion simulator for the whole body. Thus, engineers propose training and smoothly transitioning to the real deployment of humanoid robots with zero training. Developers say that their method is suitable for dynamic movements such as walking and for simple tasks of grasping and moving objects. This significantly facilitates intuitive and dynamic interaction between humans and humanoid robots. Aida is the world's first ultra-realistic robot artist. She can draw and color and is also a performance artist. As a machine with artificial intelligence capabilities, her artist personality is a work of art, as well as her drawings, performances, and collaborative paintings and sculptures. Ida's body has a large number of degrees of freedom and is based on the robothespian technology developed since 2010. It mimics natural human movements, allowing the robot to bend, look around, and smoothly rotate its torso following its head. The only limitation concerns movement. Ida can sit or stand, but not walk. However, the artist does not need it. In order to draw an object, the camera analyzes it and creates a virtual path. This path is entered into the algorithm of the manipulator, which gives the coordinates of the real space. Ida will be able to perform its sketches with the help of a bionic hand and a pencil clamped in it. Facial recognition technology allows Ida to draw pencil portraits of people. To do this, she scans facial features with the help of cameras in her eyes and transfers them to paper with her robotic hand. NASA has announced the recruitment of volunteers for the second annual Chapea 2 mission. Four participants will live in a special 152 square meter, 1,636 square feet 3D printed living space in Houston to simulate future missions to the Red Planet. The Mars Dune Alpha Complex at NASA's Johnson Space Center is designed to simulate life for future explorers on the Red Planet with its harsh environment and limited resources. A team is now living and working there as part of the first Chapea mission. The mission is scheduled to last 378 days, and participants have already completed half of that time. The mission is open to U.S. citizens between the ages from 30 to 55, who are fluent in English and have a master's degree in STEM. They must have at least two years of professional experience or two years of work experience in a STEM doctoral program, and a minimum of 1,000 hours of aircraft piloting. Chapea 2 is the second of three missions planned by NASA for the program. The first began on 25 June 2023. NASA is accepting applications on the project website until 2nd of April. Recently, the startup Clone Robotics released a video showcasing trials of its humanoid robot, specifically its hands. The company aims to create the most human-like android, and currently, their hands are making quite an impression. Artificial muscles responsible for movement and strength consist of hollow tubes wrapped in mesh-like casings. They are filled with liquid, through which a powerful heating element passes. When the element is energized, it rapidly heats the liquid, increasing pressure in the tubes. This allows the hydraulic drive to flex and extend muscles without using a bulky pump. The artificial hand's bones closely mimic the structure of human limbs. Joints provide an almost human range of motion. The developers claim that the robotic hand has 27 degrees of freedom, including wrist and thumb movements. As Clone Robotics currently focuses on developing hands, they plan to start supplying them to interested customers. However, they are hoping for funding to create a torso with a spine and 124 muscles. Currently, there are no discussions about legs. Nissan has announced a robot that entertains babies while the parent drives. Bot Iruyo is quite simple, but its functionality may be enough to interact with children, at least until the babies do not get bored. The robot can play simple games, and most importantly, judging by the video, can recognize the expression of the child's face and will not bother him if he falls asleep. Write your opinion about this robot in the comments. One of the earliest examples of interaction between robots and humans is Aiko Chihira. This humanoid robot, developed by Toshiba, greets visitors at a department store in Tokyo. Aiko has been hired at the major Mitsukoshi department store in Tokyo. Aiko closely resembles a human. With the help of 43 moving mechanisms, the robot can move its eyes, head, and arms. The robot recognizes human language and can answer questions in English and Japanese. Aiko can blink and squint her eyes, move her lips, and open her mouth when speaking. The management of the department store believes that the female robot is an effective tool for attracting customers. Essentially, she can display almost the entire range of emotions typical of humans. Looking at her, it is indeed difficult to determine whether she is a robot or a living person. 
This is the robot Han, which is a robot whose appearance is as close as possible to that of a human. It is created by the Hansen Robotics team. For the first time, Han was presented at the electronics exhibition in Hong Kong. Robot Han can express a variety of emotions. The robot can laugh, wrinkle, frown his eyebrows, blink, and even seem a little drunk. Han is able to communicate and maintain a simple conversation. He can not only recognize people, but also determine their gender, age, emotional state, and react accordingly. The robot's skin resembles human skin. It is made of a patented material called frubber, an elastic polymer. Previously, the company has already surprised the public with its development of animatronic heads resembling living people. But let's get back to Han. The robot's face has micropores ranging in size from 4 to 40 nanometers. To reflect joy or sadness, he is helped by multiple motors, as well as cameras inside the eyes. Another camera is located in the chest area. Hansen Robotics eventually plans to equip the robot with advanced artificial intelligence.